Hey everybody, Geek Out Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Time Machine to restore files. These may be files that got deleted accidentally, or you can even restore previous versions of files if you want to do that. We can go up here to the Time Machine icon in the menu bar. Sometimes there's also some people have a Time Machine icon down in the dock. So we will enter Time Machine. And the basic layout here is if you want to get out of it, obviously cancel. Right in the middle here shows you what backup, when it is. Right now we're looking at the current situation of the computer. Over here is button to restore files. And this is to go backwards and forwards in time. And over here on the right, this will show you now, and these are all the previous backups. Now I've only been using this current hard drive for a couple of days so I don't have much in the way of backups going back in time. You can scroll through there. Another thing about that is if we can go to a folder that I know is pretty new here in this folder, see important stuff, you can see that this folder has only been around for the last six backups. You can also see that by going over here on the right and it's the bright pink and you can go back through and there it is it's grayed out that means that folder did not exist when that backup was created. You can see that that file has never existed until just this morning. If you want to restore say a previous version of a file you can go up here find that file a super ultra important file. This is what it looks like right now. You can preview it over here. You can also double click on the file, preview it like that. If it's an audio file, you can listen to it, movie file, all that jazz. You can preview those files to see what it's like. So if you hit this go back in time button, it will go back to when that file is different go back in time it found a different version of this same file and you can see that that line that sentence is not in there and if you wanted to restore this version of that file you like that version you just come down here and click restore now if you want to restore a file that's been deleted for example I no, I used to have a manual in the Canon Manuals folder here that was for my camcorder and it's no longer there. You can hit the go back in time button and it will go back in time until it sees something different in that folder. Go back in time, goes back through a couple backups and there you go. There's that instruction manual for my camcorder there and I can click restore to bring that forward. Alright, so we'll go into documents, find that, Jake stuff, Canon manuals, sure enough, there it is. Another way to find files with Time Machine, get in the Time Machine here, say I don't know where that file is, I don't know what folder it's in, you can do a search so I did a search, it's not finding that file because we're in right now. So you can click on back, keep going back. Up oh, there it is. It found it. And the last time it was there, the last time it was backed up was today, 9.30 in the morning. So that's a way you can search for a file and keep going back in time until that file shows up and then restore that file. All right, that's about it. That's how you use Time Machine to restore files that you may have lost or previous versions of files. This is Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching.